In this episode, I'm going to show you how to send transactional email in Angular 4 as a background task in the cloud. To facilitate this, the emails will be sent with Google Cloud Functions for Firebase and the email service SendGrid. You can use any email provider you want, such as Mailgun or Postmark or even Gmail, but I chose SendGrid for this tutorial because they have a solid helper library and a detailed node example in their documentation. They also offer a free trial with no credit card required, so you can get your API key and follow along without having to pay anything out of pocket. So what is a cloud function exactly? Google Cloud Functions is a serverless architecture that allows you to run isolated code in a Node.js runtime, as opposed to deploying your own server from scratch. It's Google's answer to AWS Lambda, and it's only been available to the public for less than a year. It's an awesome tool for Firebase developers because it allows you to run code in the background that would otherwise slow down an Angular app, and email is definitely one of those tasks that you want to delegate to its own background task or microservice. We can trigger cloud functions in many different ways, but this lesson will demonstrate the use of cloud functions via HTTP. It's also useful to know that you can trigger cloud functions on database writes, storage uploads, authentication events, and even analytic events, all of which are common use cases for transactional email. Some examples include sending a welcome email to a new user, or sending an email when they've reached uh, max capacity on file uploads or some other app limitation like that. I plan on covering these scenarios in future videos. At this point, I'm assuming you have an Angular app started with the Firebase Tools package installed. Start by running the Firebase init command and then scrolling down to functions. This will create a functions directory and give us an index.js file which is where the functions are defined. The functions directory is its own isolated node environment, completely separate from your Angular app. Its logic has no direct connection to Angular whatsoever. This is great because it keeps your front-end app lightweight and allows you to have a separate environment where you can delegate CPU and memory intensive operations. First, we need to install the SendGrid package, so we CD into the functions directory, then run npm install. First, I require the SendGrid package and pass it the API key. Next, I define a parse body helper to convert the email parameters into JSON with SendGrid's mail helper. This is actually a pretty po powerful feature from SendGrid when it comes to formatting emails. So check out all the options in the documentation for attachments and things like that. To create a cloud function, you use the exports keyword followed by the function name. In this case, I'm gonna call it HTTP email. Our function will return a promise when triggered via HTTP. And if it's successful, it will tell the SendGrid API where to send the email. The request must be of type post and should have query parameters that define the email addresses, subject, content, and any other variables in the email. SendGrid will then return its own response, letting us know the email was successful or if an exception has occurred. Before we can wire up the cloud function with Angular, we first need to deploy it. Run the Firebase deploy command flagging only functions. It'll take a couple minutes, but when the deployment is complete, the console will print out the URL used to trigger the function. Make note of this URL because we're going to use Angular's HTTP library to trigger this URL in the next step. Now that the function's deployed, we can call this function from anywhere within our Angular app. Here I have a brand new send email component that will trigger the function. First, I import the HTTP module and create a function that will send a post request to the URL that we just deployed. I'm also going to hard code some query parameters just to show you how to send data over HTTP to the function itself. In this example, I'm just going to console log the response for debugging. Now 
Now we can trigger the cloud function with a button click or any other event for that matter. If all went according to plan, you should see an email in your inbox. If not, make sure to check the console or the Firebase cloud functions logs for any exceptions. That's it for transactional email. Thanks for watching.